the homemade McDonald's McRib. I'm Greg from Suey's Barbecue, and let me show you how it's done. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Stewie's Barbecue. Today I'm making a homemade McRib. Probably one of the goat sandwiches of all time. People talk about the McRib, can't wait for it to come back. We're gonna, I'm gonna make my version of it today. So we're going to start with the pork ribs. So I've got them all mustered up and I've got the back off ready to go. Um, I am not gonna go through my process for making ribs. I've done that in other videos. You can always go back and see a rib video and see exactly how I do it. So let's cue the montage and get going on the ribs. Okay, the ribs are done. The only difference I made in all my other rib videos is these need to be pretty much fall off the bone ribs. So I'm cooking them between 206 to 10, probably a little bit too far. If you can get them 206, 207, 208, you're probably good. These were running in around 207, so they're ready to go. I've had I've let them rest. The other big difference is, is I didn't put barbecue sauce on them and then put them back on for about 10 minutes. There's no need for that because we're doing something completely different here than just eating ribs. We're making a sandwich. So now what I've got to do is I've got my ribs here and I've got to get the bones out of the back. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to work on doing stuff like this. And you can just use your knife to guide you. Yeah. And so when they're this tender, the bones pop out pretty easy. Okay, the bones are out and now it's just sitting here. I've actually trimmed it as well because as you can see, my bread is only that long. So I didn't want the ribs sticking out. Don't worry, none of those ribs went to waste. I ate them. So uh, let's get this finished up. So what you wanna do is you're gonna take your slab here that's left. You gotta be very, very careful with it because without the bones is really flimsy. It could fall apart and you're gonna try to keep it together. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to douse it in sauce. And just make sure like all the crevices are full because that's the best part about the McRib is it's just full of sauce. And I'm gonna drop it on here. Beautiful, that held together beautifully. All right, so let's dress it up. So we've got here some dill pickles. And we're just gonna put them two by two here, all across our sandwich. And then I've got some raw onion and we'll just spread that out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the homemade McRib. Now I just gotta try it. It looks amazing. Let's get that top on there. Gorgeous. Look at that. All right, let's try it. Look at that. Look at that smoke ring. That looks amazing. Oh, this, yeah, this, this bread, it's ciabatta bread that I used. Obviously not what McDonald's uses, but we're going with a little, it's homemade. We're going with a little way. We're going a different way with it. And let's give her a try. Oh, wow. That is, first of all, that is tender. That is like fall off the bone tender. You get the crunch from the onions. That dill pickle is sharp. I'm really happy with that. That it turns out amazing. I'd recommend this to anybody. This, is, this was actually a lot of fun to make. And it was actually pretty easy to make as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notifications button if you'd like to know when my next video is and hit that like button for me. I'm Greg from Stewie's Barbecue. I'll see you in the next video.